Welcome to CCIEOrDie.com. I'm going to take a little bit of time today and talk about Cam Studio, the open source video audio screen capturing device that I've been using to, to make my videos. I've had some difficulties with it, spent a lot of time trying to get used to it. It's a little quirky. I just wanted to impart some things to you uh, if, if you're attempting the same kind of stuff to things to avoid. <laughs> One of the big things to avoid is I haven't figured out really how to use the region situation. I just use full screen. It's a lot easier. I prefer it. I don't like the pointers trying to delimit the screen and then trying to adjust while you're trying to record. You're trying to concentrate on the video and that's just one unnecessary encumbrance. It's the options where you find the most, um, <clears throat> I guess, problems. Uh, audio options, that's a big one. Oops. Okay. Audio. Um, there we go. Uh, it, it is a little funky. So so we check on the audio options for microphone, if it will cooperate. Audio options for microphone. Here we go. Even though I'm saving the settings on exit, it still always comes back to the default input device. What I do ordinarily is I just manually click on uh, my Logitech USB headset because I'm, I'm superstitious. I just think every time before I record, if I click on that, it, it, it's going to record the audio with the video. I've, I've made a lot of videos where the audio didn't come through after going all the way through, and it's it, it really hasn't been a pleasant experience on that. As far as the video is concerned, the video options that I would choose, or I, the one option I would choose, would be the XVID MPEG-4 codec. You try with the AVI uh, uh, codec, and the, it, they take forever to compress, and they're enormous. So I think the, the best uh, choice here is XVID MPEG. You'll get the nasty little XVID status screen. You can always put that in the background. Going down to options, program options. This this is the big one. You don't want to play the AVI file after recording, and don't use the the system players. I'd, I'd stay completely away from those. Uh, the name, the AVI file. If you ask for a file name, I found that when it does ask for a file name, you input the file name. It doesn't often uh, save it. It'll crap out during the compression, and it's just a disaster. Use the automatic file naming. That's what I found. It, it, it names the file by date and time and saves it in the directory uh, that you have uh, you have set an output directory. You don't don't use that. Well, I use the user specified directory. I think that's just that's just a better deal. So those are those are the big ones. Those are the ones that I found that have helped me to consistently record videos and and able and able to save them anyway i hope uh this video has helped you out a little bit uh taught you a little bit about uh cam studio and it's a great tool it's just it takes a little getting used to so thanks for watching and i hope your videos turn out um uh, better than mine <laughs> good luck